Hello everyone, my name is Night Sabra, and for this video I'm going to be talking a little more in depth about sketching itself. So the first thing I want to talk about is stretching. Any artist, no matter what their skill level is, should be doing hand exercises and stretching before they work and while they work. I definitely recommend taking a break every hour at least to stretch. I'm going to leave some links for you guys to follow of the two things that I usually do. So the next thing I want to talk about is redlining references. I will draw the general shapes over a pose reference and then I will redraw all those shapes and then I'll go in detail. You want to make sure you're learning when you redline the stuff. You're not just drawing over top of it and then copy paste, essentially. You want to learn from doing this. You want to understand how things go together. You want to use simple shapes. So you can see in my drawing here, I'm just doing the very basic shape of the hair and then I go into the more details. Same with a finger, and same with the man's hair. One thing I really love to use is the favor sided triangle when I'm doing general outlines because they really show direction. If you have one side where the point is, that's going to be the side that bends out. It's really, really useful for hands and fingers. It'll help point out which direction they're facing rather than just a normal little oval that doesn't really tell you very much about what's happening. So always use favor sided triangles if you can. Uh, this is just a small tip, something when I was first beginning I was really really bad at, and I think a lot of other artists too, is make sure you're drawing the palm and the top of the hand before you draw the fingers. I was drawing very, very short actual hand portions, and that really made my art look funny. So definitely make sure you're drawing the hand and the fingers. So you might see someone simplify an eye, and you like the way they simplify it. Kind of use that. Use different pieces from different artists, and that's kind of how you develop your style. You pick out things that you like, and you start trying to replicate them. Don't take all of one artist's style. Make sure you're drawing from a lot of different areas. Another thing I want to generally talk about here is using gender qualities to your advantage. If your character's binary, this can be super helpful. Usually, if a character is non-binary, I lean towards masculine body shapes. So when you're looking at the different body shapes, you can see that a woman has more hourglass figure and a man has more of a triangle shape. You see the differences. In the waist, in the arms, in the neck area, and in the legs. Women are curvier than men. When I'm sketching, I also like to build a foundation before I really go in depth so you can see I'm drawing very basic shapes and then you edit it accordingly. I'm not using a reference here, but I'm trying to make the character a little chubbier, so just know that you can use basic shapes and adjust for body type. You should still use a reference there if you can though. One of my favorite things to do is use hard edges for masculine characters and soft edges for feminine characters. So you can see here, I'm doing a little example. Here's a, a rounded feminine character with eyelashes and a more masculine character with hard edges. So you see the different points here are going to be kind of the jowl, the chin, and the cheekbones. These are areas where you can decide if you want them to be curved or harsh. This also works on arms, legs, tails, wherever you think you can fit a sharp edge. Again, this comes back to favor sided triangles. Some of them are going to be more rounded, softer. Other ones are going to be harsher, sharp edges. So before I end this video, I did have a couple of other random general tips that didn't really fit anywhere else but I still want to go over them because I think they're useful. 
another one of my favorite things is using straights and curves. It kind of goes alongside the rounded edges versus sharp edges. I usually use this on like the legs, you can see here. You just use that sharp edge versus a soft curve and it, it just makes it very satisfying to look at. It's something I recently picked up. I usually try to do it for legs and arms. They just make a good contrast and they make it seem more confident. I've also been asked before how to simplify digitai grade and the way that I go about doing it, so I figured I'd just throw it in here as like a quick little tip. I basically separate it into kind of technically four parts. There's the thigh, the calf, and then the ankle and the toes. So basically all I do is draw it like somebody's standing on their tippy toes. It's not anything super complex. I just like the more humanoid style of digitai grade. So some people just make them more dog style where it's a rounded knee and calf kind of together to form a curve. But I like to use more human anatomy where I have a thigh, a separate calf, and so on. Another thing that I wanted to talk about that I've kind of been bad about lately is symmetry. It's kind of overrated. A lot of people use the symmetry tool in Procreate, myself included. If you're going to do that, I recommend only sketching the symmetrical layer and then going over it without using that tool because it can make your work look a little boring, not very interesting. It's satisfying. Symmetry is very satisfying to humans in general, but I personally feel like if I use a symmetry tool too much, or if I line with the symmetry tool, it just makes my characters look fake or stiff. So to kind of get away from this, I'll typically line without the symmetry tool. Another thing I, I really want to talk about is there are so many tools, especially if you have Procreate, please use them to your advantage. Like here I'm using a perspective tool, which I never used for the longest time but it works wonders for making buildings and scenes and it really helps me make sure I'm getting my perspective right. See, look at that happy little town. Super satisfying. I love doing cityscapes. I used to hate them. And that kind of concludes my video. If there's anything you want to hear more in depth about, please leave a comment. Let me know. I will do my best to go a little more in depth on the topics that you guys need me to. I hope this helps. Um, if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, or subscribe if you want to see more. Like I said in my last video, I'm going to be trying to do these as often as I can, kind of get some information out there. So thanks for watching. Bye.